Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City. This video features a major city update. The last one I did was in June, so that is three months ago. In this video, I will share quite a few changes in the city, including the addition of many small mocks, landscaping details, and subscriber sick fix. When I first created this channel, the purpose was to show that it's possible to build an awesome LEGO city even if you have a small space. Regardless of the size of a city, I always focus on concept and details over size. Even when I expand my city space in future, concept and details will always be the priorities when designing and building my LEGO city. That is why you'll see lots of small builds, minifigs, and interesting scenes throughout the city and I share a lot of these original mocks in my channel. You can learn more about my approach to LEGO city building in my book Bricks for Small Places. I share strategies and techniques for building a LEGO city regardless of the size of your city. If you enjoy my content and my mocks have helped inspire your builds, you can support the channel by buying the book. It is available in hard copy as well as an instant download. I'm offering a 20% discount of the digital book from now to 7th September Friday. Head to smallbrickcity.com to check it out. First, a quick overview of my city for those new to my channel. It consists of four levels in an area space of 6 by 2 feet. Each level represents a specific cross-section of a larger city and each level is independent of the others. The lowest level is the deep sea underwater level which has an underwater base, sunken ships, submersibles, and a lost city. Next comes the main town street and tourist beach. This has the most activity and is the central location of the city. The third level is uptown, which is a dense suburban area which mainly comprises of buildings. The highest level is the highlands, which consists of uncharted territory that is being explored by an expedition team. I should mention that almost every building or small mock you see in the city has been showcased in detail in its own video. So do check out my channel video page to search for specific builds. In this video, I also welcome over 30 different subscriber sick pics to Small Brick City. I will show you where they are placed throughout the city, but let me show you a clip earlier when they are all gathered together to watch my illusion show in the converted palace theatre. That's me performing my illusions on stage to a standing room packed house. I won't name every sick fig here as I'll point them out in the different city locations later on, but for now, you can see them and identify them for yourselves. If you do want your sick fig to be included in Small Brick City, contact me via the comments or PM me on Instagram. Let me know the parts of your sick fig. If I have them, I will recreate your sick fig. If not, you can do what many others have done and send me the parts by mail. Let's have a closer look at the city starting with the main level, Brick Beach. This is the end of Main Street where the final bus stop is, right in front of the town hall which is also the police station. The back of the bus stop facing the camera is the visitor centre. It overlooks the town square park below and is crowded with people making inquiries at the visitor centre and arriving into town. In fact, you can see Master Builder Lego Productions getting off the bus. There's a farmer in the straw hat who is visiting the city for the first time and is confused by the handicap lift that brings the disabled to the level below. There's a concert going on in the park by the popular steampunk band Steam Powered Brick. You can check out their hit single, a cover of The Sound of Silence in an earlier video I did on them. However, not everyone is a fan of their music. Their subscriber, Luke Grizzly Fava Lauro, who is waving a white flag. Luke is really into heavy metal and just doesn't get steam powered bricks music, so he's telling them that he gives up and can't take it anymore. Incidentally, I had a lot of fun designing my interpretation of his sick fig, which is modeled after him. This sick fig has two tattooed arms as well as a nice full beard. A lot of bank employees have also gathered outside to check out the concert including the bank manager. The coffee cart is booming with business due to high traffic. On the side of the bank, you can see ATMs and a drunken sailor being woken up by a police patrolman. In the town square park, everyone seems to be captivated by the performance except one guy, that is Rogue Saint 88. 
he's a rogue indeed, as instead of watching the concert, he's watching the falcon fly above the Parisian restaurant. In the restaurant itself, we see Cristiano Chin trying to explain himself to the restaurant owner. He is in the restaurant trying to watch the concert, but the owner has mistaken him for a waiter who is slacking off. That's what happens when you dress like the restaurant staff. And that is me with Annie, having a nice meal after my show. Incidentally, I decided to change my casual sick pic. It now looks like this. So I now basically have three official outfits. My white show costume when I perform in Small Brick City, my casual outfit in Small Brick City, and my black show costume when I'm touring other people's Lego cities. Back to the main street, there's an interesting scene behind the bus stop. There seems to be an accident. A mariachi has been knocked down by the bus. He's an aspiring professional musician and was on his way to watch the steam-powered brick. Notice the letter he has in his hand. That is significant as before crossing the road, he went to consult the Zoltar fortune-telling machine outside the palace theatre. As a musician, he wished for a big hit and Zoltar granted his wish and printed it out for him. Unfortunately, Zoltar took him literally so he got hit by the bus. Over here, we have HJ Hollis 68 buying some popcorn. This section of Brick Beach is a popular tourist attraction called Brick Point. It is situated at the end of Main Street and overlooks the beach as well as the Asian town. It is extremely scenic, which is why there are many tourists who gather here to take photos. Heading into the Palace Theatre is Eraser Mice Labs, who has designed a high-tech remote control gizmo thing for the stage. Behind him is Jommy277, who is buying a balloon from a balloon cart that you can see on the other side. There's a fancy dress movie party going on at the top of the Palace Theatre, which is modified as a rooftop movie theatre. Subscriber Gabe Bricks is supposed to attend this party dressed as a bank robber. Unfortunately, he went to the roof of the wrong building and is mixing with the wrong party. No wonder he is sweating. Here's a long view of the busy main street. Outside the Parisian restaurant, we see a very accident-prone guy slipping on a banana as a hiker looks on. The sidewalk of the restaurant leads to the entrance of Brick Beach where there's a surf and scuba rental shop. There are two repairmen setting up a new signpost so people do not get lost. At the front corner of the beachfront, there's an ice cream vendor, lifeguard and sandcastle. In the water, a whale is breaching behind an oblivious scuba diver. One of the major updates I did for the beach was to completely cover the blue plates with transparent and trans-blue tiles for a detailed water effect. Besides the breaching quail, there's a windsurfer and kayakers in the water. If we zoom in on the sunbathers, we see that Seabrick's tutorials has apparently taken over someone's sunchair. He's an illegal arms manufacturer in real life, so you don't mess with him. Further up the beach, there are swimmers and a luxury yacht that is docked in front of a holiday chalet and lifeguard stand. The main beach activity area has two stalls, a gourmet hot dog stand and a tiki juice bar. In this top view, we can see a better view of the beach activity area. There's a potter potty and rock climbing wall. Across the main beach is Asian Town, which is another popular tourist spot in Small Brick City. The town is full of old-time businesses and trades as well as tourist shops and attractions. On the ground floor of the Asian city, we see a pretty girl looking at the breaching whale. I recreated a popular meme where a guy is checking out the girl and his wife is looking at him disapprovingly. In this case, it is an old couple. A bit further down, there's a blind man who seems to be walking off the breakwater. Let's hope it's a prank. Further down the town, we see fishermen and a bunch of cats following a haul of fish. On the upper floors of the town, we have some businesses and more minifigs including Mini Stanley who has spilt his soda. What is amazing is that the can does not even seem opened, but I see yellow liquid on the ground at his feet. Hmm, maybe it is not soda after all. 
On the other side of Asian Town, we see Miss Ambie playing with a seagull. And subscriber X Faraways is walking down the steps. On the other side of the steps, subscriber Dennis is trying to get his friend to take an Instagram photo of him perching on the breakwater rocks. He better not fall over. Behind him, around the wall, Raptor Lego Missions is fishing for a gold coin. Unfortunately, he hasn't discovered it is a chocolate coin. Maybe he'll see better if he takes off his sunglasses. On the second floor of Asian Town, Ninjago Master 2416 is buying a packet of sugar from a nice looking gentleman. The other guy standing guard better see that policeman coming down the corridor. Here we have a few more minifigs including the owners of the lobster restaurant at the corner. Overlooking the beach on the top floor is the sushi restaurant and here we have GJ Bricks enjoying some sushi. Unfortunately, he has pissed off the sushi chef because he asked for ketchup for his sushi. I set Destiny's Bounty behind the Asian town and it is permanently docked as a tourist attraction for people to board and visit. Let's first have a look at the docks behind Asian town. There are a bunch of minifigs on the expanded pier. There's one guy practicing his crane kick on the wood pillar. Brando Natic is looking on disapprovingly at his technique as he is secretly a ninja himself. Next to them are customers queuing up for the famous ramen sold on the docks. This is a small build mock that I designed specifically for this area. There are a couple more minifigs standing around, some are tourists and some are business owners. On Destiny's bounty itself, we have Jack the tour guide from Darius Dojo who is conducting a tour of the ship. Jack has a neat looking Ninjago inspired Sigfig and he's also the subscriber who suggested I place subscriber Sigfigs in my city. That's why I pulled some strings and got him a job as the lead tour guide for the ship. There are a bunch of tourists learning about the history of the Destiny's bounty and looking around at the various displays. There's also a character dressed up as Master Wu to add to the atmosphere. I placed a ladder for tourists to climb up and down the ship from the pier. Unfortunately, it's not really disabled friendly. Behind the ship, you see my modified lighthouse point built on a cliff. From above water, we go down deep below the surface to my underwater setup. You have to imagine that this is about 100 kilometers away from Brick Beach. You can watch the detailed review of this scene in the link in the card above. Basically, there's an underwater base with two modern shipwrecks. In the chasm below, an old shipwreck is being explored. Next to it, there's an undiscovered underwater lost city that is home to a sea dragon that has been taking ships down over the centuries. We have two tourists who have taken the underwater base tour. On one side, we have Speed Bricks and on the other side, we have Candy who is visiting from Candyland. They are getting a great view of the underwater scene until the base gets attacked by the sea dragon. The third level of my city is Uptown which is a developed suburban neighborhood some distance away from the main town. It is mainly made of small buildings from my small brick town project, custom builds as well as official modular sets. It is very dense and there are two levels separated by a road which you can't see from this angle. There's an elevated train track that runs between the two levels of Uptown. Subscriber Oliver is working on the tracks but doesn't realize that the train is barreling towards him. Those noise cancelling headphones are really working well. As it is quite hard to film the back row of the buildings, I will focus on the front row where the main activity is staged. We will start at the foot of my luxury apartment complex where some painting is being supervised by the owner. Next to this is the assembly square and we have Brick Bakery and Brick Life Crisis outside the bakery. They just finished interviewing each other and are grabbing a bite. But to no one's surprise, Brick Bakery has stolen the pretzel from Brick Life Crisis. Further down the sidewalk, we have a flower cart where Hippie is chatting up the flower mascot and customers are being served at the cafe. The next building is the Downtown Diner or more accurately, the Uptown Diner and there's a kid's birthday party celebration going on. That's why they're all the costume characters. Next up is the Uptown Food and Shopping District. There is a young couple 
sitting on the bench in front of the corner deli. They just had a set of triplets. The father is thinking, all I wanted was a dog. Speaking of dogs, Eagle Bricks is feeding a dog a bone. However, that dog has just made a mess and an angry girl almost stepped into his pool. Luckily, his responsible owner is cleaning up after him. Behind him is the Lego store where Lego mascots are attracting customers for a promo event. Pacific CY Sigbob is trying to explain to the brick suit girl that she has stolen his job and he's the true brick mascot, since he's actually made out of bricks. In front of the dessert shop and old time toy store, we have minifigs playing on the merry-go-round and having a picnic. In front of the bike shop is the beer stall, and next to it, Brick Motion 81 is waiting in line to buy some Lester's fried chicken. In front of Pepe's Pizza, there are two food stalls, a kebab store and a Hainanese chicken rice stall. Imperial Officer 07 in the blue jacket is intrigued by this unique Southeast Asian dish. Rounding up the front of Uptown is the Dos Pimentos taco stand. Finally, we head up to the Highlands. This is an area far up in the mountains and away from the main town. It is heavily forested and holds many lost treasures. It is difficult terrain to navigate and planes have even crashed due to the cloudy mountains. There's a mysterious overgrown lost temple that is waiting to be explored. In the Highlands, we have only one subscriber Sigfig and that is Brick Trucker Nick. He is a truck driver who was hired to drive the explorer's truck but did not realize what he was getting himself into. That's why he's on the truck looking around. Behind him, you can see a forest village which is inhabited by some tribe's people. They seem to be ready to defend their turf. In front of the forest village, the explorers have set up their elaborate campsite and exploration station. I hope you enjoyed this city update. As with all LEGO cities, it is a work in progress. And since mine is a tourist town, there are constant changes in attractions and minifigs. If you did not see your sigfig here, it means I have not received your mail yet or I do not have the parts to create your sigfig. I will feature your sigfig in my next city update and I will also reposition all the others in new scenes and new places around Small Brick City. I am still accepting requests to include your sigfig in my city, so please leave a comment, PM me on Instagram or email me at build at smallbrickcity.com if you'd like to include your sigfig. Do remember to check out my book Bricks for Small Places at smallbrickcity.com. The 20% offer for the digital book is available only to 7th September 2018. As always, please leave a comment and let me know what you think and give the video a like. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any videos. Thanks for watching, talk to you soon.